Complex chains and complex shapes are complex elements. A complex element is a grouping of multiple elements that is manipulated as a single entity. Cells are another example of complex elements. Complex chains and complex shapes can be created with the Place Smart Line tool. To create complex chains and complex shapes and line strings and shapes from existing elements, you can use the Create Complex Chain or Create Complex Shape tool in the Groups Ribbon group on the Home Ribbon tab. To convert a complex element or a line string or shape into its component elements so that they can be manipulated individually, you can use the Drop Element tool in the Groups Ribbon group. In this lesson, you will learn Drop Element, Create Complex Shape, and Create Complex Chain. Continuing in learning.dgn in the AccuDraw model, zoom to the three figures you created in the first exercise. Select the Element Selection tool in the Selection Ribbon group on the Home Ribbon tab. Right press and hold on the first figure, the church symbol, and in the context menu select Properties. The Properties dialog displays with information about the selected element. This first figure should be a shape based on how you drew the geometry. Don't worry if it displays as a complex chain or just a series of lines. With the Selection Element tool still active and the Properties dialog open, select the second figure, the P-shape. This element is a complex shape. In the Properties dialog, expand Complex Shape. Note that this complex shape is composed of a line string and an arc, as you would expect. Deselect the element by data pointing anywhere in the app except on another element. Next, you will apply drop element to the elements that make up the P figure back to their component elements. Select drop element in the ribbon groups ribbon group on the home tab. Make sure the option Complex and Line String Shapes are enabled in the Tool Settings window. Data point on the first figure, the church shaped element. The shape is dropped to separate lines. To prove this, delete the horizontal baseline of the church. Select Drop Element again, and this time select the outline of the P figure. This complex shape is dropped to a line string and an arc. Data point on the line string once again to drop it to individual lines. Next, you will convert the individual elements back into a single complex element. Let's start with the Now Open Church Symbol figure. Select the Create Complex Chain tool and confirm the following in the Tool Settings window. Method, Automatic, Max Gap, 0 0.001, Simplified Geometry, Enabled. Identify the first line of the dropped church figure and accept with a data point. The other elements are automatically selected because they touch each other and the automatic method was selected. Accept to complete with a data point. This results in the creation of the new line string element. This is due to the simplified geometry tool settings enabled and because no arcs were included in the elements selected. So instead of a complex chain being created, we get a line string. To prove this, let's try reassembling the P-shape parking figure into a closed shape. Select the Create Complex Shape tool and confirm the following settings in the tool settings window. Method, Automatic, Max Gap, 0 0.001, and Simplified Geometry is enabled. Identify one of the elements of the dropped P figure and accept with a data point. The other connected elements are automatically included. Accept with a data point to complete the creation of the new complex shape. 
Because an arc is included in the selection of the elements, a complex shape is created. Hint: To be able to copy parts of an element parallel, you don't have to drop the element. The Move slash Copy Parallel tool has tool options to move or copy a parallel, a single segment, or a portion of an element. In this lesson, you learned Drop Element, Create Complex Chain, and Create Complex Shape. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.